It's a must stop for you if you're into Shilava. I'm a huge fan of this city. You know how things go when there are powerful women. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ravenna. I'm saying back because I've been here before and I shot a video here. However, it was actually my very first video in Italian and I remember being so self-conscious about it and so worried about how would it be like. However, today I've decided to come back here and film another video in English because I know that most of you speak English anyway and I would really love to share this city with you and to show it to you because in my opinion it's one of the most beautiful cities you know especially of its uh, size in Italy and it's a must see when you are visiting this country because Ravenna is an extremely important historical uh, center you know it's like it's a it's full of historical landmarks it's full of history full of art full of literature poetry and so many other things that I want to share with you and if you're coming to Italy this summer make sure to include Ravenna make sure to watch this video till the end so you know where to go and what to see and now guys I invite you to spend a very relaxing and enjoyable day here with me in Ravenna let's go Well, obviously Ravenna is the city of Dante if you had to ask me like the first thing that comes to my mind when thinking of Ravenna would be Dante because one of the greatest Italian poets if not the greatest is buried here in Ravenna and that's an interesting story because he's actually from Florence however since he was in an exile he spent a huge chunk of his life here in Ravenna finishing the Divine Comedy here by the way and he died here and the local people refused to give his remains back to Florence, so he's actually buried right here. And there is a very interesting and peculiar story regarding his remains. And you know, I love a good mystery story. So now let's go with me and I'll tell you more. So here, right near Dante's tomb, there is this wall with like the, the, the original wall of the monastery with the writing that Dante used to be buried here and then his bones were hidden by the friars and then they were found once again even though for a very long time they were thought as lost and then during the Second World War they were moved once again and actually they were kept here under this hill because uh, the friars were very concerned about the bombings and that the church might be destroyed and so they uh, hid his bones here under the hill as uh, in a safe safer place you know kind of a safer place before finally transferring his remains to the original tomb I've been to Ravenna a gazillion times and interestingly enough every single time this churchyard with the original resting places of Dante has always been closed However, it's open today and I think it's a good sign. But anyway, even if you come here and it's closed, you can easily see all the important, you know, the resting places from here and the tomb is open all of the time. So that's definitely not a big deal, but was a very pleasant experience to be able to finally come and see it a bit closer. Ravenna, guys, is known as the city of mosaics and even the street's names here have these pieces of mosaic, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Even though it's a working day today, Ravenna is extremely lively, as I said before, maybe because it's summer, but also because, you know, people are coming here all of the times. Actually, in different times in history, there were so many famous people living here in Ravenna or visiting Ravenna because just look around, it's, it's wonderful. Oscar Wilde, Lord Byron, Gustav Klimt, Gustav Jung, Paul Klimt, and uh, even Vasily Kandinsky were among all those famous people who lived here or visited it because Ravenna, as I said before, is so poetic and there is something that inspires you and 
you know, makes you want to create art. I can totally understand it. In my opinion, guys, Ravenna is a very poetic city. Even during summer, when there are lots and lots and lots of people here on the streets, it still remains a very poetic place. Maybe that's because of Dante's influence or the influence of other, you know, creative and inspiring people who lived here. I don't know why. Maybe because of its very particular location and architecture. I don't know. I always feel this surge of creativity when I'm here and I absolutely love it and just you know having coffee in one of its cute uh, coffee shops I talked about this coffee shop in my Italian video and I always visited it when I'm in Ravenna I will leave you link in the description box so you can visit it too and, you know just sitting here in these cute coffee shops under the portico of Ravenna looking at the street and you know people watching I love it I find it a very relaxing almost meditative thing to do because Ravenna actually puts you in this meditative, relaxed state of mind and I think it's a perfect destination all year round, but especially during summer. Besides all those important landmarks and, you know, places to visit and things to do here, there are lots of events going on in Ravenna basically all year round. However, during summer there is the famous Ravenna Festival, which is an opera and classical music festival. And if you like it, this place is a must, guys, because uh, you'll see lots of performances, live performances all around the city. And it's a definitely a very beautiful event. Tell me in the comments if you'd like me to come here and film it for you as well. Because honestly, I think it's a perfect place for a creative festival. and. You know, guys, I can already see something about the festival here. I think that should be probably the program of it. So let's conclude, by the way, and see what's there. So basically, each year the festival is dedicated to an important person in Italian history. Last year it was dedicated entirely to Dante, so there were also lots of open-air readings and stuff and events regarding Dante. And this year it's all about Pierpaolo Pasolini, because this year marks his um, anniversary of his birth, 100th anniversary of his birth. So there will be a lot about his, like, you know, a lot of workshops, a lot of uh, talks about his films, his art and his life besides all of the musical part of the festival and I think that's perfect you know I really like it and I also really like this approach of dedicating it to someone and amplifying the program of the festival in this way so you know you can absolutely find something for you whether you're a music lover a cinema lover or or you know a literature lover or whatever I love it I'm a huge fan of this city guys what can I tell you I'm gonna show you one really cool thing that I've never seen before. However, I love this idea. Look here. Uh, so basically you can find this kind of plaques everywhere around the city. And it's called Caminare Ravenna con la Divina Commedia, which means walk around Ravenna with the Divine Comedy. And you can scan this QR code and find different verses of the Divine Comedy. I'm not sure, I'm gonna try it now, I'm gonna see what it's gonna be like because I'm super excited to see. And I suppose, yeah, that you can explore the Divine Comedy while also walking the streets of Ravenna. Isn't it wonderful? It's, it's a wonderful idea, I like it. Let's see if I can scan it. So it basically gives you the link. And we're gonna see now where this link is gonna bring me. So I'm gonna see if I can find it in English, but I'm not sure I can actually see it only in Italian now, but I'll have to do a little research afterwards. However, it basically gives you the words of the Divine Comedy and explains this 
this piece of, 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 the, uh, of the work, you know. Explaining you the historical context, the uh, part of the Bible that he's referring to, and when it was written, and why, and everything. And I think that's really interesting because you can walk around the city and explore these, probably one of the most important Italian literature works, in such a depth, and I like it. Obviously, when visiting Ravenna, you cannot avoid visiting places like Basilica San Vitale, which is the basilica uh, dating back to the 6th century, and it's one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And as I said, Ravenna is famous for its mosaics, and there are a lot of them conserved integrally here inside this church. However, it's really difficult to shoot inside because of the light, and also I feel like you have to come and see them for yourself, so I'll leave you a couple of photos here but it's definitely so worth it, you know? And look, once again, there is Dante. If you ask me, guys, I would say that for me, Ravenna is definitely a city of Dante first. But of course, the Byzantine influence here was huge. It used to be the capital of the Western Roman Empire and obviously the importance, the historical importance of Ravenna cannot be underrated in any way. Another place that you can and probably should visit when visiting Basilica di San Vitale is the Muslim of Gala Placidia, who used to be a de facto empress. However, you know, she was a regent, but you know how things go when there are powerful women who can actually do something and who can actually change something. I really admire her. Uh, I'm not gonna bother you with all the historical facts. However, she is said to be buried here, although, uh, you know, historians doubt this fact. They say that she might have not been buried here. Anyway, locals do believe it and we're gonna believe it as well. And uh, the important thing, the cool thing about this Muslim is that it's all covered in mosaics as well. And guys, it's so worth it, trust me. I will also leave you a couple of photos here because, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil you the enjoyment you're gonna get once you are inside there. But all these mosaics, you have to see them for yourselves. You cannot really um, understand the magnificence of these mosaics when you're just seeing the photos or uh, some, some footage. It's important to see them in real life. So just a quick note, if you are planning a day trip to Ravenna, because I feel like you can actually spend a day here and see most of the things, you can buy a cumulative ticket that will cost you 1050 for San Basilica Church and some other churches and baptistries and like the most important landmarks here in Ravenna. And then paying extra two euros, you can also visit the Muslim of Gala Placidia. And I think like uh, that's definitely a good investment because with this like, single ticket with a bit of extra two euros, you're gonna visit most of the landmarks, like the most important landmarks here in Ravenna. And yeah, I think it's not a bad thing, you know, for a day trip here. And yeah, I definitely recommend it to you and also check out their opening times, always check uh, the opening times of all the museums there you go in Italy and absolutely try to book your entrance because you can see the crowds here. I highly recommend you to make sure that if you can, you book your entrance, trust me. Ravenna is definitely a very distinct city that is so different from all other Italian cities. However, there is one thing that it has in common with some other cities in the Romania part of Emilia Romagna region. And this is something that I can never resist whenever I'm in this part of the region. And I'm talking about local cuisine, guys. Because local cuisine is absolutely fantastic. If you're in Emilia Romagna, make sure to check out all the local dishes of the Romagna part, although the Emilia part, of course, has some fantastic dishes as well. However, here you'll find piedine and crescione, which is something that I'm having today. I love it. So every time I'm here, I always get myself a crescione or piedina. If you remember my vlog from Rimini, I got a crescione there as well. And if you haven't seen it, I will leave you a link up here. So go watch it right away after you finish this video, uh, because it was lovely as well. And yeah. I highly recommend you to check it out. I will also leave you a link in the description box of this place in Ravenna where you can have 
prosione o piedine and enjoy all of the goodness that local cuisine has to offer. The coolest thing about this place, guys, by the way, it's called Locanda del Melarancho, is that apparently it's super famous because on the walls there are these little writings left by famous Italians. And there are everywhere. If you look around the walls, you can see a lot of them. And I think that is so cool because you know this place seems quite small from the outside and in reality they have the indoor area and like basically two floors and yes as i said apparently it's super famous here in ravenna and for a good reason i honestly loved it that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this relaxed uh, vlog from ravenna this relaxed walk from ravenna because honestly this city just puts you into this relaxed mood as i said before in this video it's perfect for long lazy walks around the city it's perfect for a day trip to visit all the landmarks it's perfect if you are a literature lover and like it's a must stop for you if you're a literature lover of course and also if you want to explore the uh, sea coast the Adriatic coast which is very near I love it honestly and I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that I've inspired you to come here and explore Ravenna for yourselves explore all of its amazing churches with their mosaics museums and all the stuff that you can find here and of course the great food and as always guys don't forget to put thumbs up comment and share this video with your friends so i can make more videos like this use the super thanks button if you want to help me support this channel and if you are new here welcome to dramatical expatic welcome to our fantastic community of travelers expats and just people who are curious about the world make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos i plan to film way more vlogs travel videos and other stuff like that because that's what I'm doing here. I love it and I really love your feedback. Make sure to comment this video if you liked it. Make sure to comment what else would you like to see. And thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day.